when users are migrating from Jenkins to GitLab CI, they're looking for some features that are used to from Jenkins. And one of these features is the ability of sending reports by email, especially when the pipeline fails. Well, GitLab CI will notify you if a job fails by email or if it's successfully if you configure it in that way, it does not have a standard way on how it can attach any reports, especially HTML reports. Hi there, this is Valentine and in this video I will show you how you can configure your GitLab CI pipeline in order to send emails. First of all, you do not have to worry too much about this because you're not the only one frustrated that this is not already built in in GitLab and that you need to write some custom scripts to achieve a seemingly easy to achieve task. Currently, the only way that I know about is to configure a third party emailing service and to use it from within your scripts and to send emails using the API that this email service has. I've been using Mailgun Typically Mailgun is a paid service, but they also have a basic free plan. It's called pay as you go and you still get 10,000 free emails per month, which is kind of neat. You don't need a credit card to sign up. Yeah, that's pretty great to just try it out and see how it works. So after you register for Mailgun, you can go into settings, API keys, and you will see that two APIs keys have been assigned to you. What you're looking for is this private API key. And if you click on this I, you will be given this information regarding the API key. I'm just gonna copy this and use it then in GitLab. In GitLab, we'll go to settings, CI, CD, and select variables. There are a few variables that we need to add in order to get everything to run properly. Well, bear in mind, the way you name your variables is totally up to you, but this is how I have named mine. So for the API key, the variable name will be mailgun underscore API underscore key. The next variable that you need to configure is the mailgun domain. If you haven't configured your own domain, you will be assigned a random domain name from Mailgun. And you will need to put that the entire domain name inside here. So in my case, if I go to the dashboard, right here at the bottom, I will be able to see my randomly generated domain name. All these variables are needed for the script. So I'm gonna save them. And let's go ahead and edit our project configuration pipeline. So I already prepared the snippet here and I'm gonna copy it and add it to the pipeline. So this job will do the following. It will use curl in order to use this domain. So the API is this one, api.mailgun.net. This is where your domain name goes and this is where your API key goes. And then you have additional fields that you can configure. Uh, you can specify from who this email should come from, what is the subject, what's the text and so on. Of course, you can put them in variables as well. I've just showed you here how you can use variables. And I also use the predefined GitLab variable. So the email in my case will go to the person who commits this. So as soon as I update this, I will then get an email. Just before I commit changes, I need to include this as well. So we're going to define an additional stage here. This will be notify. And for send email, we have to specify the stage as well. I'm going to be stage notify. I'm going to commit these changes and soon I will get an email. So the email that I got is pretty similar to what I have configured. This is the title, it went to my email address and here is simply the content and going to the job that has sent the email, the send email job, you will see here that the job was successful and here you will see cute, thank you. So this is the response from the API indicating that everything was okay. Now going back to what we originally wanted to do and that is to actually send an attachment with this email. So that goes in the following way. 
in the build stage I have generated I would call it a dummy report so it has been published under reports slash report.html and it has been published as an artifact meaning that the next job the send email job will have access to this report so in order to attach it as well all we have to do is to specify another parameter and this will be attachment and the value will start with at and there will be the path to the artifact so let's save these changes and see if the artifact will be sent by email the email will be sent and this time it will include the attachment of course if you need to include multiple attachments you only have to duplicate the same command the same parameter with attachment that you saw going back to the pipeline in this current state there are a few things that we still need to fix in addition, we need to ensure that the send email job will be executed even if the build job has failed. Now, by default, GitLab CI will not publish the artifact if the job was not successful. And in order to change that, we need to tell GitLab when to publish the artifact. And this is done by adding a condition, it's called when, and we're gonna specify it to always. So this is a configuration for the artifact. So for that reason, it needs to be indented under the artifact this will be always we're gonna add here an error and we're gonna exit with an execute one and this will make the build job fail additionally for the send email job we need to configure a few things as well so as it stands right now the send email job will only be executed if the previous job or jobs are successful and there are two ways to configure it in my case, I'm interested in only sending this email with the report if the job failed. But if you want to always send it, I will explain you how to do it as well. So again, we're going to use the when configuration. I'm going to specify here on failure. And this makes the job only run on failure. But if you always want to run this job regardless if there was a failure or not and to attach the HTML report, then you can specify here always. I'm going to leave it on failure because I have added here a failure and let's see how this goes. Now, if you look back at the pipeline, you will see that the build job has failed because we have introduced this explicit failure. But still, in the notify stage, the send email job was successful, has been executed and has sent the report by email. So that's about it. Make sure that you check the video description because I'll be posting all the scripts that I have used there in the description along with other documentation and useful things about GitLab CI. If this tutorial was helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more GitLab automation testing tutorials and see you next time at another video. Bye bye guys.